anything, I believe, for a woman who's like very knowledgeable in bag buying and not just like blindly buying. For a woman like that, she is probably more knowledgeable in personal finances than the average or anyone else. All right, I am back. So today I'm just going to do a off the script video because honestly, I, I watch all these YouTube videos and they're like, oh, if you want to get more views on YouTube, you have to make sure you script and plan out what you're going to see. What are you, blah. Ugh, something went into my eye. But anyway, um, a lot of these YouTube channels, they're like, oh, if you want to grow on YouTube, you have to script out or plan out exactly what you're gonna say in your videos. But honestly, I am not a fan of that because I feel like that's just not very authentic. So today I just wanna talk about how a lot of people think back buying means you're materialistic and it means you don't know anything about personal finances. And so I still remember when I just comment, simply comment on the, <laughs> personal finance channels that I watch and they happen to be majority guys because I guess it's more popular within that gender but honestly I don't see the difference but anyway I just remember commenting and a lot of these like comments that I get below my comment is like super negative a lot of them are just like oh stop being a gold digger just because of what just because of my appearance I mean they don't know anything about me I doubt they even watch my videos but they just look at my profile picture maybe or maybe my name and they're like oh you're a gold digger and um, all these like nasty nasty names and I just don't understand why like why do people do that just because I'm a female just because I like to play with makeup and um, make myself look good and wear all these clothes and like designer bags does that make me a gold digger uh no that's not the definition of what a gold digger is and honestly I was just trying to be friendly to leave comments on another youtubers video and I know how helpful it is to get those interactions and get more comments in as a youtuber myself and so that's why I'm doing it doesn't make me a gold digger or anything and I just don't understand why there's so much negativity and I think this also has to do with the fact that a lot of people just think female can can't deal with personal finances which is not true because I'm a female myself and I know a lot of female friends who are like very very good with personal finances they're just very good with keeping within their means and keeping a good budget and especially with bag buying I feel like a lot of us like bag buying ladies we know a lot about personal finances or else we would not be able to afford all these bags and just like reading posts from the purse forum and all these different uh, forms focused on bag buying. You can see that a lot of people have very high paying jobs. They have very high respected professions and they're very good with money or else they wouldn't be able to afford all these things in life. It is not as terrible as people think. Like we just, we don't go out and just swipe our cards without caring about precautions and we don't all spend our husband or boyfriend or parents money that's not all we do a lot of us actually have like pretty high paying jobs a lot of us work really hard hustle really hard to get to where we're at today and I'm not saying that oh everyone has to work really hard to buy bags because yes there is a certain percentage of the population that buy bags from other people's money and that's just the nature of everything uh, people can buy video games with other people's money people can buy cars with other people's money so why is it so bad when a female buys bags with other people's money and why is it so highlighted and emphasized and generalized thinking that every single female who buys bags are using other people's money. A little far from the beginning, but I just want to say that I really want to debunk this myth, this myth that female can't manage finances, the myth that bag buying equals financial irresponsible. I don't believe any of this is true. I believe that there is a sweet spot between personal finances and bag buying and definitely you can balance out the two if you are smart about it. If you really think about your purchases, if you really think about brand and value retention and the style and cost per wears, all these factors that I mentioned over and over again on my channel. Because as long as you do it smartly, you actually gain more value from expensive and higher end bags than from the fast fashion bags, than from H&M or Forever 21 bags because they're just lower quality, not as well made, not as versatile, and the cost per wear is just not worth it when you actually do the calculation. And there's no way that you can sell them to make a profit. And so, yeah, I just want to make this like little rant right here because I just keep seeing these negative comments targeting towards me just because I happen to be female watching personal finance videos and some of these like hateful I assume they're men because their names look like they're men and they're just like oh uh, I 
love it when a dumb uh, girl wants to learn more about personal finances. Ha ha ha, so funny. And I was just like, yo, what? Like, if anything, my background is in accounting. Even if I were like clueless about personal finances, and I wouldn't call anyone dumb, but even if I were just a beginner and clueless about personal finances, just by me watching it doesn't mean I have to be ridiculed for that action because I'm taking action. I'm I'm taking action to manage my own finances, to learn more about personal finances, and if anything, there should be praise. There should be encouraged and not like laughed at. And I just I just hate it so much as a as a female in this like personal finance world. I just want to make it like super clear that our gender does not hinder us from doing anything. And our gender does not mean we're like dependents because the society is different and um, I recently read a study about Chinese women, and since I'm Chinese myself, I'm going to talk about Chinese women. And uh, the employment rate for Chinese women is actually over 70%. I believe it's at 71%. And so this is like super, super high. And at the same time, all these Chinese men are are giving Chinese women such a hard time because they want Chinese women to work, they want Chinese women to take care of the kids, they want Chinese women to not have babysitters, and this is just ridiculous. And um, I even see that in like so-called North America, American society. I see this a lot. People just have all these different expectations from women, but at the same time, they like to laugh at women for whatever reason. Many of the times, they ridicule women for no reason at all. Like, their argument does not make sense. They're like, oh, uh, you have so much money, you probably got it from your daddy, huh? And there is, like, honestly, just no basis. I make videos, I talk about my revenue streams, I talk about how I save, how I spend, I show you all my, like, spendings and budget and all that, and still, people comment under my comment or people comment on my videos and they're like, oh, you probably uh, you probably have a sugar daddy or uh, your parents probably gave you all this money. I'm just like, yo, like, can you just please take a step back and just get rid of your blanket statements and just have a clear picture of what's in front of you. And for women out there, I just like, I really praise you for just like, paying attention to personal finances and taking this power in your own hands. Because to me, money is a tool. Money is also power. Because without money as power, I know a lot of like unsuccessful marriages and the wife is just like, oh, I have to stay in this marriage because I don't have any money and I can't survive on my own and I don't know how my kids are gonna survive. And this is just really sad. That's why I focus so much on personal finances because I believe it is so, so, so important for women to regain this power. In the past when women are not allowed to work, Women don't have that power. Women have to depend on men or depend on other people to get food, to get shelter, to get that power, to get money. But if you learn about personal finances, if you learn about how to work and hustle hard and how to hustle smartly, it is totally possible for you to be totally independent. Like me right now, I'm totally independent. I'm not trying to say this in a way of bragging or anything. I'm just saying this in a way of clarifying <laughs> to anyone who doesn't know I am financially totally independent. I'm not using any dime of my parents. I'm paying everything on my own. Also my bags, I'm paying everything on my own. Every single bag that I have, unless they're gifted my, by my parents, which is not even that many. Maybe it's like 1% of my bags are gifted by my parents. So all this is that personal finance is a way for you to regain your power. Money is a tool. Money is a power. And you want to regain your power because if you regain your power, it means you can have independence. It means you can have freedom. It means you can have flexibility. It means you can make choices in your life. You can, if you have enough money, you can easily say to your boss, hey, I am going to quit. I am going to regain my time back. If you have enough money, you can easily say to your ungrateful partner or husband and be like, hey, I really don't like how you're treating me and I am leaving. And I'm okay to be leaving because I have enough power, I have enough money to sustain my own life. And so, yeah, it is totally possible for a woman to know about bag buying and personal finances. And if anything, I believe for a woman who's like very knowledgeable in bag buying and not just like blindly buying, for a woman like that, she is probably more knowledgeable in personal finances than the average or anyone else. Because by buying so many bags and studying like the history and the craftsmanship and the value of all these bags, you actually become very familiar with a lot of the finance concepts. So for example, if you buy a bag and um, it is $100 and you sell it for $120 and then you calculate the profit and then if you sell you also calculate the shipping costs and all that, there is a lot of calculation involved. And so this can also in turn help with the actual finance knowledge and personal finance knowledge in that field. And usually people who 
constantly buy and sell bags, they keep a spreadsheet, which is also very similar to keeping a budget spreadsheet. And so all these practices are actually good for your personal finances. So just I want to debunk this myth because it is not true that bag buy is a polar opposite of managing finances. If anything, they work with one another. If you're good with personal finances, it means you can buy more bags. If you buy more bags, it means you're more familiar with finance concepts. And I'm not saying that if you buy more bags, you magically have more money. Not true. If you just blindly buy bags and never sell them or you sell them in like not very smart or wise ways, yes, you can lose money. It is totally possible. But if you do it very smartly, if you do it very strategically, it is very highly likely that you will make your money back. So I just want to make this super clear. Women can be good with personal finances. Women who buy bags, chances are they're even better at personal finances because of all these experiences and practicing these um, like budgeting and tracking expenses. Sorry I got cut off because my camera ran out of memory, but I just want to make this really clear that personal finances and bag buying, they do not have to be mutually exclusive. If anything, they can actually help each other out. If you're good with your finances, you can buy more bags. If you are good with bag buying, you can accumulate more wealth. It is totally possible and I'm just so sick of seeing this argument over and over again in personal finance videos. Uh, in the comment section, people generalize and think bag buying is just a very stupid decision and it is never wise and you can never make money out of it you can never profit from a bag buying and selling and this is just not true because from personal experience and just seeing all these success stories i know for a fact that it is possible to make money and build your wealth with bag buying and i uh, hope this can bring some light to this issue I also have a lot of money hacks in my info box. Be sure to check those out if you want more money in your life. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe if you enjoyed and hit that bell because I upload a lot. See ya!